Okay, so this is key. So, for example, if you're if you're on the Dow and you've had a good, it's had a good run. You you might have been it for three days and it's been three green days on the Dow. Now you you believe it can run some more, but why not bank some profits? So let's say you're fifty pound a point. Now you've had a, you've had a great run and Dow over the last three days is up nine hundred points. But you know it can, you know it's got room, it's got legs here, everything's good in the market, and you know it can maybe go another five, six, seven hundred points. But you're leaving everything on the table where anything could come out a split second, and all of a sudden now the Dow's hammering down, and you're not sure do I get out, do I wait, is it going to bounce? You're praying for it to spin round. Where you, what you could have done is just, when it's had that run, take £25. So you bank those profits and leave £25 on the table. And as I said, do it as a business because then now you, your business has made money. So regardless of what happens, if you're right, don't look at it as, oh, I was right, I should have left the whole 50 on because it went another six, 700 points. Because another time it won't do that. But it's better to, a good friend of mine said it, and he doesn't even trade the market. He said, no winner is a bad trade in a certain sense because you've made money. And that, that's the most important thing, that you've made money here now. And Scaling in? So that was scaling in. Scaling, uh, that, that was, sorry, scaling in is, that was obviously scaling out we are talking about. Scaling you would do, now you wanna risk, you wanna risk a bit more. Let's say you've had a, you've had a good two months and you feel like, okay, out of some of my profits, I wanna risk a bit more now. And you, you, you've maybe sat there and done your charts and looked at a trade for, you might even, sometimes you can be patient. I've been patient before as well, and I've waited a couple of weeks. I think, okay, this is the right time to get in. It's at an area, it doesn't want to break this area. I think it's going to bounce here. But you know it can go a bit more. That's, that's just the way the market is. No one can be 100% that it's going to go up or down. Now, instead of jumping, only jump in 50%. And then it, you, if you've tried it well, and it's going to go on the run, you think, there'll be areas it gets to maybe consolidates a little bit and then goes on a run again. You can now scale in there and get in more, maybe go in another 25%. And then as it's running, you can get in more and more and catch the whole move. If you've got it right, you can catch the whole move. And if you've got stops on, you can just trial your stops with it. Where some people are like, no, I want to get in. I want to go all in here at the bottom because I think this is the bottom. And then what happens is not the bottom. And now what you'll find is the market's actually trending downwards and now they're just getting in more and more because they're waiting for that bounce. And now all of a sudden got going from risking 5% of their account or the 5% of the profits they'd made over the last two months, they're now risking 40% of the profits they made. And this one trade can absolutely ruin you because now, you, I don't think you think the same. Where have they just scaled in? Had they got it wrong, they would only risk 50%. Had they got it right, they can just get in and they're still gonna make, mm. yeah, good. And they're gonna make good money and they're gonna feel more comfortable. Mm. Um, within their trade. <laughs>